Product disclaimer. The Itericare blower is not a medical device, and the manufacturer does not provide medical advice. Users understand that the device is not intended for medical or diagnostic purposes. Its use should not replace reliance on medical treatment or advice from a qualified healthcare provider. A true leader knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Welcome to Knowing Your Business series. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Maayong gabi i and uh, mag uh, ma sa baba o kan kanan sa tanan ninyo diha karon for all of you who are uh, in this call all 154 of you it is a great privilege for me to be sharing for this episode okay before I begin my topic would be the using and the caring all right. So let me start with my slide just to remind everyone the proper use and care of Itera Care products. As you all know, as you all know, as and I as I, what's taught to all of you, the use or the function of our product is basically proper blood flow, ergo proper oxygen distribution. And of course, the rejuvenating, the taking care of, and the proper function of your cells. So as you can see, I think this uh, illustration here is not unfamiliar to you. It is our blowing guide. Okay, let me explain a little bit about the blowing guide. Okay, so if you notice, there are 10 areas that we suggest, you know, that we recommend that you apply your therapy or your blowing with approximately about two minutes per area. If you can see the beginning of the illustration, it says drink two glasses of warm water. And at the same time, in the end, it says drink two glasses of warm water as well. A lot of our leaders train our members or their business partners to charge the water, which was talked about a few episodes back and why this is effective. Now, a lot of you are asking, out of the whole anatomy body of a person, why the 10 areas? Okay? And of course, it says here, as a reminder for those with hypertension, do not perform step number eight, which was also discussed in the previous episodes. Now, these are what we call the meridian points, okay? The, if you are using iTeraCare, okay? If you are using iTeraCare, the reason why we are reminding everyone and suggesting that you focus on the meridian points is because the reason for you having a device is for day-to-day -day use. Remember, we were telling you that the, the effect of iTeraCare is not like a pain reliever, is not is on a when-need basis, but we recommend that it be part of your daily regimen. Yung araw-araw niyo po ginagamit. Bakit naman po? Di ba, hindi naman kayo when-needed lang pag nag-toothbrush, di ba? You don't wait for the pain on the, it's a teeth ninyo or ang cavity ninyo bago po, po kayo magtututbrush. You actually do it every day for prevention. This is the same thing we recommend for these areas. If you multiply all of that, that's just about 20 minutes. Then after you are able to apply or to do therapy in these meridian points, then you can focus on the area that you believe and you feel that needs it most. But we recommend that you do this. Sanayan na po yan. 
You know, sanayan lang yan. Some of us may think that 20 minutes is a long time. That's why we suggest if you have you have uh, TV with, with uh, subtitles, you can watch it. 20 minutes passes very, very quickly. Ang pansinin din ninyo po, and pag nag-toothbrush kayo, a lot of times it's between 2 to 3 minutes. Kung seconds lang po kayo nag-toothbrush, napakasaya po ng dentista ninyo. Okay? Now, why the meridian points? The meridian channels containing the energy chi pass through these zones which are equivalent to the acupuncture points. So for you who are familiar, kung familiar po kayo sa acupuncture therapy, which is actually, uh, which originated in China, these are the points they focus on. It The 10 points we are talking about are just what we recommend for the terahertz, you know, the terahertz therapy that we are recommending. Acupuncture points are the points of blood vessels, yung ugat po ninyo, and nerves. Stimulating these zones or these points is able to activate blood flow and improve the messenger effect of nerve system. Okay, ito lang po ang messenger po na hindi, hindi nyo mahahanap sa Facebook. Ito po yung messenger po na nasa katawan ninyo. So when you focus on that areas, what does it say? It stimulates the zones to be able to activate the blood flow. Okay, so some one person just type meridians are like switch and blocking these points where blockage usually takes place. Thank you for helping me out. So, importante po, gaya na sinabi po, ang device natin improves blood flow. However, if you are not focusing on the right areas, then mas matagal po ang therapy niyo or baka hindi po siya as effective as if you focus on the meridian channels. Okay? So, hindi po ito, hindi lang po kami nag nag uh, nag-guess na okay maganda siguro sa kilikili ito we we, we did not just pick this certain uh, areas randomly there is a reason po if you research further on this po you will know di ba sa groin yung sa lower area behind the knees those are the areas some of the areas that we mentioned here are the areas na yung malalaki po yung mga yung mga ugat ninyo so these points are trigger points. So if you focus on them po, most of the time, these are the points where blockages happen. So we highly encourage it. If we're talking about use of Itera, follow the blowing guide. Two minutes. Yung ating po premium plus, meron timer na two minutes. Pag tunog po niya, then you can move it to the next uh, meridian point. No? You will you probably will look at the blowing guide in the beginning, and after that, you will already remember, and it will not be exactly like brushing your teeth. You know, for the women, all of the regimens you put on your face, araw araw po yung ginagawa po yan, no? So if you if if you realize it, the brushing of your teeth and uh, taking care of your face is more of your aesthetic. No? You want to look good. You want your smile to be white. But of course, with teeth, if you have bad teeth, then it also affects your health. So we do things for our body. If you own an Itera Care device, follow, follow the blowing guide because this is the reason. What you are reading in front of you, yan po ang rason. Bakit po meron tayong blowing guide? Now, kung meron po kayong ina-address na area, pwede naman ninyong gawin after. Now, if you don't have enough time, then you can do it alternate. You do the meridian points in the morning or in the evening, and in the morning, you focus on the area that you believe needs more time because you are trying to address a concern. So, yun po ang importante sa lahat na naintindihan natin in the spar as usage is concerned. Now, if you want to go on a more technical know-how or knowledge on how to address certain things that you are feeling on the medical side, you can always attend our 
Zoom meeting with Dr. Ibai on Wednesdays, or you can consult or ask your leaders and hopefully they know what they're going to tell you. But in the meantime, this is the basic, yun po ang basic steps on effectively using your Itera Care device. Okay? So, I hope you I hope you enjoy doing this. Alam nyo po, if you're talking about patients, believe me po, I would rather, I would rather be patient for 30 minutes than be patient inside a hospital with tubes in my nose, with, with IV. I would rather be patient. Mas boring po yun na nakahiga kayo sa kama, hindi nyo po alam anong mangyayari sa inyo. So I suggest that you practice this and I am very confident that you will see the results in no time. Now, medyo spoiled po ako, no? When it comes to the taking care of your Itera care device. Because I am limited po to, to the screen that you see right now. Can I see my face turned? Because I am limited to the screen I have right now, it is so difficult so we figured out, kasi po, kung sa ano pa, balwarte namin, and uh, we have our own marketing department, and of course, I told you that part of the of the direction of Pride Philippines is to have its own production studio so that we can, we can uh, communicate better with you, do things and present things with you that, are, that, that becomes more professional. So I hope this video on how to take care of your device is something you will enjoy. And I, I'm telling you right now, this video that we will, we will uh, show, it will be different from the other episodes because this one we will post. So enjoy and prepare your questions. Let me do your turn. Maayong gabi sa inyong tanan. Hello, welcome to how to take care of your device. We all know that our devices are not really inexpensive. So it is just right that we take care of it. And let me give you some tips that uh, I go by or I practice when uh, I take care of our device. Let us start with the Classic. Okay, as you see, this is the packaging of the Classic. And this is the box. The classic comes in two parts, the top part and the bottom part. The bottom part contains the quartz crystal, which is the essential part of our device. And of course, the top part is where the blower is located. One of the things we have to remember is that when we screw on the device, device we have to make sure that it is straight okay because it has a thread which is plastic and you don't want to destroy the thread by forcing it in. If you actually thread it onto the top part, then you will see that it can, it easily goes in. Wag po nating pilitin, all right? And then of course, you don't need to really tighten it as long as it's, it doesn't move, then you should be okay, all right? So make sure that it is straight before you screw it on. The second one is please do not handle your device this way. Do not dangle it. Okay? Do not dangle it. Always hold your device 
on the body itself and then you can now unravel your cord for it to be plugged plugged in so let me talk about that a little bit later okay as part of the device if you know this is a blower the air comes out from this end but it has an intake which is this part that is open it's like a mesh that you see on the top part right next to the wire this is open for the reason that the intake the air that comes out of here the hot air is coming from the ambient air so everything that is being sucked into this mesh okay comes out from here and goes through the motor it is important that we clean or for me i always clean it regularly we clean it after every use some people would use a brush when you clean it this is not the right way to clean it why because if there are any if there is any dirt on top of this the dirt will fall right into the motor so when you clean it you clean it upside down now when you have the time then it would be good if you could also vacuum it upside down as well if you have a handheld vacuum you know or or a uh, vacuum with a, with a hose vacuum your unit here from time to time just so we are sure that it eliminates it eliminates all the loose particles that could possibly get into your unit all right so cleaning the device is essential to the life of your iTerra care device as you know you know we have expensive um, cell phones we have gadgets that uh, are of value don't you clean it of course you do you wipe the screen of your cell phone you make sure that the cell phone is dry we should treat our device the same way next when operating the device some of us you know we after taking a shower which is required you know when you do a full therapy that you know that you hold on to the device with dry hands never operate the device with with wet hands therefore it is also not advised to use your device in the bathroom okay especially if you you take a shower hot and cold there is moisture in the air and you cannot you know you cannot prevent moisture from entering your device okay so do not operate your device close to water source or the possibility of it having absor having to absorb moisture now a lot of us we, we advise people to uh, when they use their device not to have fans or air conditioning but some of us you have to admit it we do have fans we do use it in an air conditioned room that's okay however you have to make sure that when you know after you use the device it's either you throw a shirt on top of it so that moisture doesn't enter okay or you return it into the box which i will talk about later another no-no which we have discovered while uh, trying to assess devices that are not working, we discovered that a lot of us, or some of us, pour ointment. Some of us pour ointment on the quartz crystal. Some of us pour ointment here on the intake, which is really bad for the motor. Because whether you like it or not, it is a form of liquid and especially oil which stays for a long long time so please do not pour any essential oils do not pour any type of scent into your device you know before using it or when you are using it do not do that probably one of these days we will come up with a device that has a scent but for the time being do not do it okay now, when you plug your device, as you can see, this is our plug. Okay? 
When you plug your device, of course you can plug your device. You have to hold on to the plug and plug it into the outlet. Okay? However, uh, we have discovered as well that a lot of people, our device is not a kilometer long. You can easily walk to the outlet and unplug the device by holding it here as well. Do not yank it. Do not pull it. Okay? It is not advisable to do so. Take a short walk to your outlet, hold on to the plug, and unplug it. Okay? Is that clear? Do not yank it. Some people even yank it all the way here. Okay? As much as possible as well. If you can plug it to the source of electricity or the main outlet, that would be advisable. However, if you want to plug it in an extension cord, that's also okay. Just make sure that your extension cord is working perfectly. Walang short, there's no loose wiring, the, the, the holders or the clips for the outlet, you know, are firm. This one is not dancing around. So you, you get the consistent electrical flow into your motor. Okay? Make sure of that, okay? Next, after using or even before using, do not lay your device on the bed, okay, or any, any surface, especially when it's also running. Some of us, I've noticed, they use the device, they blow, and then they want to remove their shirt, and the unit is still on, and they place it on the bed, on a blanket, on a towel, on a wet towel, and then they, they, they hold on to it again. If you need to do that, shut it off, okay? But do not put it on any surface that has fabric. Because remember, like I told you, the intake, it has a possibility, you know, that it will suck in the fabric, or it will also suck in the moisture if you are placing it on top of a wet surface. Okay? Now, let's say your therapy is done. You're done with your therapy. And you want to return it, as I advise, that you always keep it in the box. You want to return it in the box. Please do not do that while the device is still hot or warm. Let it cool down. It easily cools down. Oh, by the way, on the cleaning as well, you can, you know, you're, you're free to be able to clean the uh, crystal, the quartz crystal, but make sure you don't clean it with a steel brush. Once you detach this, you can always run a dry, uh, a dry rag into the, into the nozzle, okay? And then you can just run it in there para po malinis pa rin yung crystal. So your crystal is clean. All right, let's assume that the, uh, the unit is already cold, okay? Or it's already room temperature. A lot of us, we just shove the whole thing with the wire inside the box. For you who use Iterica, you know it will not fit when you shove it. The, a lot of times, this one gets screwed up because it folds in a different manner. Take a little time. It's just a few seconds, okay? Make sure your wire is okay. Place this on a flat surface, okay? Not on top of fabric. And then, like I said, do not fold your wire while the unit is dangling, okay? Lay it on a flat surface, then you can fold it this way. I normally do it on a you know, in a circular type folding. And then what I do is I squeeze it, make sure it's far from the connector, far from here. Wag nyo po sagarin ang pagfold. And this is not expensive. So find a way if you can secure this and secure your unit this way. All right? Okay. If you notice, I did not remove the bottom part first before folding. Why? We want to limit the exposure of the opening here into the motor. 
Now, when you unscrew it, make sure you don't unscrew it. You have to make sure that it is straight. So you unscrew it slowly. If you notice, it was very easy. So you don't have to tighten it you know, th that much because you will have a difficult time unscrewing it. So when you unscrew it, you can unscrew it with, you know, three of your fingers. After you unscrew it, okay, make sure you lay it on the flat surface again. And then you put your device inside the box as such. And then grab this, put it in there and close it. And you can now secure your box where you normally put your iTera care. Okay, I hope that everything is clear. Oh, by the way, if you also have time, it would be nice if you could also wipe down your, your unit as well, including the wire, if you have time. Okay, you don't have to do it all the time, but make sure you spend time cleaning that device. The appliances in your home, like your television, your, your fans, you do clean it once in a while, correct? Do the same thing with your device because I am pretty sure your device is more expensive than your electric fan. In fact, your device is more expensive than some air conditioning units. But you do take care of it, right? Okay. Now, this is our Premium Plus. This is easy because it comes in one solid part. Okay? But if you notice, it also has an air intake. So you just have to follow the same procedure when you clean it, when you fold it, when you use it. Everything should be the same. The plugging, the unplugging should all be the same as the classic. All right? Now this one, once again, it has an opening. You can see the quartz crystal. If you have like, I know that they sell those uh, foam type uh, cleaners, you can shove one as long as hindi magasgas you don't scratch the glass to take care of it and clean it and wipe it down same process okay that's the premium plus it's great product great product all right let's now go to the pro there is a reason the pro is in a hard case number one because it is very costly number two it's heavy okay so it needs to be protected so with the Pro, as you can see, it comes in a hard case. It's also a great product. For you who have not seen the Pro, this is how a Pro looks like. The seal, the same thing with the other uh, handheld blowers. It also has an intake. So you still follow the same procedure. Okay? All of our devices have, you know, the, the switches. You see that? All of our devices have that. It's also good if you, you clean it as well. Okay? And also do not be rough with your switches. You know, our devices are sturdy, but they are not indestructible. So once again, you always think, when I use my device, think about the price you paid for the device. I'm pretty sure you will take care of it once you come to realize how much money you spent on it and what the use is. Remember, if your device doesn't work, then your application or your therapy stops as well. Any device, especially Aetherica, it will work perfect and it will work good for you depending on the usage and at the same time, depending on how you take care of your product. Same thing. We have a connector here. When you fold it, this one connects to the circuit. When you fold it, please do not pull especially this please do not dangle it while you're you're trying to take care of the uh the wire you have to lay it in a, on a flat surface and then you can start folding the wire and securing it before you return it into the box once again okay once again wait for the device to cool down before you put it back into the box in as far as usage is concerned people have been asking what is the difference there's really no difference in the results it's just basically the blowing you know the blowing range with the pro you have a wider blowing range the premium plus has uh, 
has some features that the other units do not have. Talk to your leader. Talk to the person who sold you the unit. Talk to the person who shared with you. And he, hopefully he or she, will be able to guide you as well or to tell you about the difference of the devices. Okay? So that is very important that, that we are able to take care of the device that is actually contributing to the positive effect of your body. All right? Any questions, please direct it to us. You know, when you, uh, when you do have doubts, ask us about it. We also have some precautions when we use the device, and this will be, ha this will be re re uh, responded to or answered when we come to the, to the portion where we discuss the precautionary measures. Some in the other episodes, it was discussed on the do's, the don'ts, and the warnings and the precautions. Consult the leader or the person that uh, sold you the unit or shared the unit with you. And if you still are in doubt, please give us a call. All right. Now, the last product I want to discuss, the Itera Bio. All right. Some of you have seen it. Some of you have not. Okay. This qualifies like a foot massage device where you actually put both your feet inside. We have a smaller version of this, which is the Itera Bio Lite. How do you take care of it? Very simple. Okay. This device, just like the Itera Bio Lite, they have two parts that are detachable. One is the power cord. The second one is the control cord. The outlets for this are in front. Make sure when you plug it, you plug it properly. It goes all the way in to the device. All right, not halfway, but into the device. Make sure it's securely into the device. Even the remote. Let me see if I can find the... There you go. It, it, it's like a mouse. All right, so voila. You got two of them connected. This goes on the floor. Most of the time, we advise that you do not put this on top of a carpet. Put it on a floor. The floor should be even. Because remember, when you turn on the device and you put your feet in, it actually activates the unit. How do you clean it? Please do not clean it with wet rags. Get a dry rag, wipe it down, wipe the surface of the, of the foot plates, wipe it thoroughly. All right? Don't, and once again, do not wet it. We would, not, we would not advise you to spray alcohol on this, okay? Why? We would rather advise you to clean and wash your feet before using the device. Also, make sure your feet are not wet or you are not wet. You can't use this when you come out of the shower, you're, you're halfway dry, and then you use the device. We discourage you to do that. Okay? And we don't want you to find out why. Alright? Uh, the, the bio and bio light was discussed thoroughly in the past episode. So, for me, it is just basically on how to take care of it. Okay? Once again, do not spray alcohol. Do not wipe with a, with a, with a wet rag. Okay? It's always dry cleaning. And of course, my advice. Because this is also an expensive piece of equipment, we would not advise you, unlike the others, to put it in and inside, you know, remove it from the box, put it in back in. We don't advise that. Because remember, there is a huge possibility that you would, it would slip off your hands and you would drop it. Okay? So once this is out, of when you are at home, unless you use it as a demo unit, when you are at home, you normally situate it in the room, in the living room, sa sala po ninyo. Okay? The movement should always be, you know, pulling it out, taking it from underneath the bed or the couch. 
That's just the movement. You never store it this way. Okay, you never store it this way. It should always be stored flat. Minimal movement of the device is advised. It doesn't mean that if you keep moving it, it's going to get destroyed. No. We just advise that because you cannot avoid the fact that when you're moving it, you might hit something. This is an electronic equipment, so it's very sensitive as well. Okay? Once again, clean your feet before you use the device rather than alcoholing the device because you have dirty feet. Okay? So please remember that as well. Now, we would, I would strongly advise that after usage, you unplug. You unplug all the cords, store them properly, okay? Do not place this on the plate if the plate is still hot or is still warm. Of course, it's, still, it's safe to put it on the plate, but not when it is hot. And if it is a regular appliance in your home that you use as part of your daily routine, we would advise you to get a nice looking piece of cloth so that you can cover, you know, you can cover your unit. You know, I have a dry, I forgot I had a dry rag here, okay? But get a bigger rag so you can cover your unit so it does not gather unnecessary dust. Also, when you vacuum, please do not use a vacuum brush while trying to vacuum it. There is no need for you to do that. You can use a dry rag and wipe down the units, all the units, okay? I hope that this has helped you in your uh, usage and you're taking care of your very, very valuable iTeraCare devices. Once again, take care of your device and please know that your device will work positively for you depending on the positive time you spend with the device and depending on the positive way you take care of your device. Happy using and uh, see you soon. Enjoy the units and uh, make sure, make sure that you use your units or your devices consistently. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. When you, when you purchase a device, some of you purchase the device because you need it to address a certain part of your body or to address something that's not right. However, we never and we have never ever recommended our Itera care devices to users just because you have a problem. Mm. This device is supposed to be daily maintenance. Remember, whether you like it or not, asleep, awake, your blood flows every day and your cells functions every day unless you are dead. So if your body, your blood flow flows every day, your cells function every day, you need oxygen every day, then I believe that it is just right that you follow the blowing guide if you have the time and then you can move forward with the uh, addressing of certain areas in your body. So ang tinuturo po natin po is hindi po siya device kung meron lang kayong nararamdaman. It is day to day. And my comparison, unless somebody disagrees, Nang toothbrush lang po pa kayo pag meron ng pain ang ngipin ninyo. Hindi naman siguro, right? So that is the analogy. No? Before you feel anything not right, then what's what's what will you lose? You already own the device. Okay? Mm. So use it and maximize it. Because I believe that the taking care of the device is very important and there's no proprietary uh, thing to this, no? And uh, unlike the other episodes where we're trying to see if people are really the interest level,
You can see your leaders who are really attending. So these are the leaders you focus on because they're the ones that want to learn. But with this episode, that's why uh, uh, I decided to produce it because this will eliminate a lot of people complaining about their devices, you know, not working. Because summa total, you know, at the end of the day, we have discovered while we were repairing the device that a lot of it is because of misuse and people do not take care of it. Now, although we are improving on our quality, if you use this device every day, it is therefore common sense that you also take care of it every day.